Hi Taurus, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm very happy you're here and I'm very happy to be channeling for you. My name is Christine, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Taurus Tarot Reading. Taurus, love tarot reading. <laughs> Your cards are going wild. Taurus love reading and as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Taurus love messages reading, channeled messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Taurus, I'm channeling for you in December 2023 and you could be here in real time. You could also be here many months, even years later, going into 2024 really. We're just around the corner from there. You're here, this is a timeless reading, so you're here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection, Taurus. It means there is a message here for you, so welcome again. I want to show you the energy that's coming in. We're seeing the sun and we're seeing the queen of pentacles. I really like this because this is sort of like, I feel the apprentice to the empress can grow just about anything here, almost help with new beginnings, things that were not working out around this connection. Emotional energy coming through, honest energy coming through, new beginnings, the pentacle, the commitment, the relationship, the connection, and it's here with the sun. You know, the growth, the warmth, the new beginning, quite literally the happy new beginning and working things out, of course, connecting us to source, God, goddess, the universe, the divine, and look, fulfilling wishes. It's a big old dandelion here, and it's already been blown. So it's a wish fulfillment energy here and a victorious energy. I really like this victory wreath here with this new beginning, the queen of pentacles in the sun. So this is looking quite good for you already. Let's see what else is going on. All the decks that I'm bringing in today are linked below. You'll also find all the playlists, of course, Taurus, your Zodiac readings, all 12 Zodiac signs are linked below and, of course, on the channel. If you are on a Twin Flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth Twin Flame readings below as well as a lot more, so feel free to check anything out if you are inspired to do so. I just wanted to show you, look, the expansive card is here, which is connecting us to Jupiter energy. Pisces and Sagittarius energy, the planet of expansion, prosperity, hope, optimism, and connecting us to luck, which is connecting us to timing for me. That's connecting me to the wheel of fortune. It's connecting us to the wheel of fortune, a turning point. We saw that queen of pentacles and the sun coming in, just coming up a new chance, a new day, warm and illuminating and life force, being able literally to grow with the Queen of Pentacles, it couldn't be a better scenario. Page of Wands energy coming in here. So trying to figure out how to come in. But look, they're carrying an offer. Look what they have. It's a ribbon. It's a gift. You know, it's coming in quite fast. It's sort of like, well, yeah, it's bringing in Red Thread of Fate energy for me. But it's also bringing what they're bringing in. What are they bringing in here? Because they're getting some ideas. We already saw that. So is this just a message is it the truth? Are they bringing an offer here? Are they just coming in to talk? Expansive energy is looking suspiciously like there's more than just talking here, but let's see. Remember, this is a general tarot reading, so take what resonates and let the rest go. If you ever feel that things are vice versa and you're receiving messages and you hear them and you think, well, no, that's actually mine, then it's yours. It's really what is meant for you. I would appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so much and thank you for being here again. Let's continue seeing what's going on, Taurus. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what our Taurus needs to see today. Aho. The Two of Cups. It's your first energy and the Four of Cups. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So that's real clear. That is really clear with that Queen of Pentacles, the Sun energy. They're coming in here with an offer. So this is an offer. What is the offer? Well, sometimes around the Two of Cups, it can be marriage proposals. I'll tell you, Venus and Cancer energy. 
Look at the healing energy too. I really like that. And the, the coming out of the conflicting energy, you're very clearly still connected. You still love each other. Very strong soulmate energy. For some of you, this might be around your twin flame. That's not for everybody. Not everybody's on a twin flame journey or, or believes in it or whatever. But I'll always bring it through when the energy is coming through and it is here. And look what else is here in the partnership placement. It's the Four of Wands. More Cancer and energy, Moon and Cancer energy. So they could just be coming kind of out of nowhere here with this offer. So communication, yeah, that's been coming through quite strong. And what is the offer? Because they love you and you love them. You're still connected here. The emotional energy is very strong. And we saw that with the Sun and the Queen of Pentacles that... There is a new cycle here. So the end of no contact, the end of no communication. Look at this beautiful tree of life. It's like a circle. So it's also like source coming in. It looks like the sun. It's almost like a nest on top of it. Look what they're bringing. Oh my gosh, look. So they're bringing in here to build this they're bringing into, it's like a completion energy in some ways too. It's sort of like, it's not the universe, it's not the world card, but it has that energy to it. But they're bringing in a rose. That is an offer. This I feel is coming via communicating and opening up. And maybe it's a message first. Maybe it's a phone call. Maybe for some of you, if you're not separated by distance, it could be in person, but they're coming in here. And you might not be expecting it. And they're bringing something with them. They're bringing something with them. And I feel like there is an offer here. Again, there is a proposal here. It won't be that it's marriage for everyone. Is it maybe wanting to talk again, meet up, see each other for the first time, for those of you that have not, whatever that is, because a proposal is a new beginning. It's just not always going to be marriage. But it, it's clear that it is for some of you. And look what's coming off the three cups here. There are some flowers growing out of them. It's actually quite hopeful for a four of cups energy. It's bringing in the three of cups and that's mercury and cancer here and that's communication. So it's just really incredibly clear and you've been waiting for it. You know, there is that energy of just kind of feeling a little bit indifferent. So I don't know if this is, if you've been expecting your person, this person here, or you're just... Yeah, just feeling indifferent because it's maybe been taking too long. These are both coming in and they're both yours. Nine of Swords and the Devil Energy. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but there you go. Look at the bottom of the deck. The sun is back. So the sun has revealed itself again. Coming up here, a new beginning. A happy outcome. What's been going on around your person, Taurus? Because the devil energy, you know, it's coming from some shadow and from some ego, but you can see here, look at this. I just realized that too. The nine of swords here, they're not sleeping very well. I, I don't think anybody has been. There is an energy of, of just sadness around the separation here. You can see that you still love each other, yet it's an, a connection that's protected. Look, the... The nest is elevated here and the roses are completely, they, they look good. <laughs> That's what I want to say. You know, so for some of you, it could be that timing that it hasn't been that long, but it's also just about how you still feel about each other. And this nest might be representing for some of you an actual dwelling, I want to say, but it's also just about your connection, what you were building, what you wanted to build, what was about to be built, what was maybe on the table. They're definitely anxious. They're not sleeping very well. We see them coming in and look, there they are with that rose. Coming right out of literally, I feel like coming out of the Knight of Swords here and what it was going on in this double energy, you know, so because it can, there's some attachments here and it can be around something that was already done that affected the connection or something even that they're doing, you know, obsessive energies or energies of just doing things that are not healthy or not good for their higher self, bad behaviors, all of that. It's in, it's where their energy is the strongest. So let's see what else is going on with that? But I will tell you, it is the devil energy, but this wolf is howling at the moon. Communication here. I feel it's interesting what's going on in this deck because there is a lot of, and of course it's wanting to come in. There's a lot of wake up energy here, I feel, in the devil today. 
The Four of Swords is also coming in. And of course, the sun came back, which is just not surprising at all. The Four of Swords, it's coming here in reverse, catty corner to the Two of Cups. This is Jupiter and Libra energy. And it's where you go, of course, of just getting some clarity, solitude, separating. It's where you went after the Three of Swords. No, no contact, no communication, and or in separation. Look, and you can see the Three of Swords here together. And then there's the fourth sword. In alignment here, so both waiting for the truth to come, waiting for clarity, waiting for them to come with information to communicate. And your person also preparing for that. It's in reverse. Look at the emotional energy around the moon here. It's huge, illuminated. And of course, that is around the emotional energy. That's around communicating and opening up. So yeah, have you been waiting for that as well? You have been, and it's in reverse. So there is an energy of you both being kind of, I want to say tired of waiting, and your person getting ready to act here. And it's really strong for me here with the Nine of Swords and this Devil even. it's I don't know, it's kind of like waking, coming out of the shadow self, coming into their higher self energy here and waking up because they're not sleeping very well and they're getting anxious here. Four of Swords in reverse, Nine of Swords. To get that rose here in the Four of Cups, we saw that coming in with the Sun and of course it wanted to come back in here with the Queen of Pentacles, that there is an offer coming in here. The Five of Swords, there's also an, an apology. Okay, interesting. Venus and Aquarius energy, and it's connecting, and look, the moon is coming here in reverse. It's connecting directly with the devil card, and this is where their energy is the strongest. So some things may have been said here that they are wanting to apologize for. This is a making peace energy. It's Venus and Aquarius energy. And I just want to show you that there's three swords here, and two of them are here. So what... What, what was said, what was not said, lack of clarity, things that were possibly very hurtful. Of course, it's the Five of Swords. It's three here, and that's connecting directly with that Three of Swords energy. So possibly contributing is what I wanted to say to some of the, the breakup or the separation energy here. They want to make, they do want to apologize. It's strange, but that Devil energy does have a really strong wake-up energy for me. And what else is going on here with the Moon, Pisces energy, Cancer, and Gemini too? Well, it's in reverse, and that's the clarity that they have, and that's the truth coming to you. We have here in reverse aspiration, and it's coming in reverse, you know, aspiring to. So it's, it's a hopeful energy of what you want, and it's in reverse here with the Nine of Swords. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's, I don't know how long this separation has been going on, but it's like a giving, a, a little bit like a giving up energy. And it is also connecting here with the Four of Swords in reverse, where I feel there's an alignment between you, but you're just kind of tired of waiting here. And these just got left behind. How many are here? That's too many. Okay, so those are not ours. I want to move the energy a little. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. What else do our Taurus... Our beautiful Taurus viewers need to see today, aho. The Page of Swords is here. Didn't we not see the Page of Swords? No, we didn't. Eight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Okay, this is, yeah. So there's a message coming in here. They're watching you. <laughs> That's really clear. And look what's coming out of this hot air balloon. So this is that truth that you've been waiting for here in the Four of Swords that you're tired of waiting for. So what is this truth around? How they feel about you? I think that's also here because we're seeing in the Two of Cups that they do love you. So that truth is coming through here. It's connecting with the sun. Look with the dandelion here with, of course, working things out with a very happy outcome. And before I continue with the Page of Swords, I'm being drawn here to the Seven of Swords in reverse, right here with the Four of Cups. So this is a, a runner, let's say, coming back in whether they were just not communicating because it changed everything. It's Aquarius and Uranus energy. It's maybe even abrupt for some of you. Look, carrying all the swords here. 
breaking, I, I want to say breaking your heart, just a lot of hurtful energy because the Page of Swords changed everything. And this is connecting strongly to the Devil energy, of course, and the Five of Swords. So again, possibly some things that were said. And what's also just coming through really clear with the Moon in reverse here in the Two of Cups, that and the Four of Cups, that there's a strong energy of hiding how they felt or an emotional unavailability. So the, the lack of truth around that about how they feel. But the Five of Swords connected with the Devil, connected with the Seven of Swords, which is coming in reverse, but when it was in the upper right here, connecting with this Devil energy. So what is that? Because it's connecting, connecting to, yeah, the fact that they were maybe saying some not, not, not so nice things, but also not communicating, leaving the connection, not answering messages, not maybe being very good at communicating, emotionally unavailable, perhaps for some of you to the actual run from the connection. It can be that there is some betrayal here for some of you, and it's real strong. It won't be for everybody, of course, but it's strong for a lot of you here with the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Devil energy that they really do want to come back here and apologize. And also there's a strong reveal of information. So if there's something here that you have been waiting to hear, that's coming through as they hold on to look this information in the Page of Swords. Look at all the letters here. It's kind of like, because they're holding on to the truth, getting ready to take action. And we see that also in the Four of Swords. They're getting restless in the Nine of Swords as well. They're coming out of that. We see them coming with that rose here. But it can be that they're literally writing messages and not sending them, or maybe sending and unsending, deleting. You know, for those of you that are in close proximity, it could even be handwritten, but that won't be for everyone. But I'll tell you, maybe also in their head is what I wanted to say, because that's coming through with the sword energy, just being really in their head here. And it's more energy of apologizing with this hot air balloon as it's rising above conflicting, conflicting energy, excuse me. But these letters just pouring out here, and we see that this is around everything that happened. And, your reading is like, <laughs> are there some control issues here? Because I feel like there's this energy. I almost feel like of somebody trying to, to come in here and like control the narrative, <laughs> like not get all the messages through. I think that's coming from the devil energy, the shadow self and the ego. That's very interesting because they're holding on to this truth here and this information that I do feel is going to come through because you're just about ready to give up. There is a one foot out the door here with this aspiration in reverse and the Nine of Swords because there is some anxiety in the Four of Swords in reverse of just being burnt out, being tired of waiting. They're coming back in here, apologizing, and it's strong that it's, well, yeah, I want to say it's strong for a lot of you that it's a message, but it can also be a phone call, a voicemail, and if you're living near each other, maybe even a knock on the door. Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sagittarius energy, it's coming in really fast. Eight of course is a number of action. There's also some karma around eight. So yeah, they're they're paying, I feel, some karmic debts. There might still be some to get paid off here. But eight is also, of course, infinity, and that's connecting us to Libra, and that's connecting us to balance, balancing their divine feminine, divine masculine energies, which we all have, of course, within us in order so they can get to a place of clarity and truth within themselves and bring that to you, that they love you. The apologetic energy, whatever went on here and whatever you've been waiting to hear, I feel, but that's also, of course, the renewal that infinity sign. And for some of you, it might connect you again to your twin flame. That won't be for everybody because I know that's not for everybody here. But this, look, one of the umbrellas here has hearts. There are butterflies, of course, here, transformational energy coming out of the dark energy. And that for me, I mean, of course, that brings in pot potential dark night of the soul energy. And it is connecting right here with the nine of swords and the four of swords in reverse. So it could be coming out of that. For some of you, also for your person, that won't be for everyone because that's also, well, and it's also an energy of just things coming to light, you know, as the butterfly is coming out of the cocoon and becoming a butterfly here with the Eight of Wands with something to say. There's a lot to say and it's coming in really fast and it's going to change everything. They've just been here in this Page of Swords energy, I feel like trying to figure out what they want to say. 
They're clear how they feel, and this truth is coming to you, and an apology. And I feel <laughs> more than that. This truth, I feel like, is coming with an offer, Taurus. Definitely an apology to look. The bottom of the deck, the Three of Swords in reverse, Saturn and Libra energy. This is apologizing, and the Three of Swords has just been all over here. Both in the Seven of Swords, here also in the Four of Swords, and of course it's in the Nine of Swords of getting up to that point, all the way up to the Nine of Swords, that that had gone on, of not being able to sleep. They're apologizing here. Yeah, and some of it is for what they said. A lot of it is, you can see that, a lot of it is for what they didn't say, for a lot of the truth that they've been holding back. There's a strong connection to the devil and the seven of swords in reverse. So connecting to whatever it was that they were doing, you know, that is, I don't want to say partly to blame, but I feel like it's connecting to the separation or the not talking, whatever. Okay, so that is bringing it in. I thought that might happen and it did. It's also bringing in what's below here, the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Okay. Um, this isn't surprising at all. You know what this is? Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy. So you know what they've got in their mind is this connection, bringing in this pentacle. And it's coming here with the Knight of Wands in reverse, which is a very impulsive energy. So this is, it, it is a nocturnal energy coming in here because they're kind of waiting around in this page of swords energy, writing, rewriting, or thinking in their head what they want to say. This devil energy has been feeling for me today <laughs> from the get-go. It's been feeling like, yeah, a wake-up energy, really connecting to Archangel Gabriel, maybe shape-shifting <laughs> to the wolf here. But it really is a wake-up energy for me. And this fox here, and look, the king of wands in reverse is impulsive. So just kind of jumping out of that page of swords energy, making all this noise in the devil energy and coming here. So it can be coming that there's a message or even a knock on the door. It won't be for everyone that you're in close proximity. Phone call, uh, SMS, whatever it is, and just popping in possibly in the night. But they're coming here with this ace of pentacles. And of course, that's around the connection, the commitment, the relationship taking it to another level, this proposal energy. So there is an apology coming in here. There is communication coming in here. There's a lot of humility I feel around it. They're anxious. They want to get here to you. I, but there's also very clearly this apology is coming with an offer. There is an offer here. They love you and you love them too. And I do like that with that offer, again, with this apology, there's an offer because there is that lotus flower also connecting us here with the Three of Swords in reverse. This is your overall energy today. And yeah, look, so the Knight of Wands is connecting directly with the Four of Cups and the Two of Cups with them coming in and communicating. I just really feel like it's going to be an out of nowhere energy. I want to show you the bottom of the deck and then we're going to bring in some oracles. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is your energy, Taurus. It's Mercury and Taurus energy and of course Mercury. The planet of the mind, the planet of communication. I mean, you're seeing it here. That's an energy of loss. You know, that's it's a sad energy, you know, it's worrying about the connection. It's coming here in reverse. So this is coming back in. It's a healing energy and it's your person coming back in here. It's incredibly clear. I want to bring in some Oracle. We're shuffled and ready to go. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse, by the way. Now, ever again, I don't know. <laughs> Probably again, I just haven't been feeling it. Okay, so we're going to take a look here. Well, these are yours too, though. I think that's it. That's it. Okay, but I want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck. Look, abundance. I really like this a lot. It's connecting us again to Jupiter, the planet of prosperity and expansion. It's connecting us really everywhere, I have to say. Also, even to the magician energy. There is some making peace energy here when I'm when musical notes and instruments are coming in, but there's also, I feel, a strong connection to music between you. And abundance for the connection is connecting also to the sun energy here. So yeah, this is uh, there's a lot coming in. Again, apologetic energy 
and offer rest. Interesting where it landed too because it's connecting us directly to the Four of Swords, which is in reverse here. It really is that energy for me of the separation and where you go. And look, and here it's coming here with listen. So it's sort of like, it's a little bit of hermit energy too in some ways, you know, of just trying to figure things out. That Virgo and Mercury energy of going within for clarity, personal truth, spiritual illumination. And deep thought here, you know, look, you can see the rays of the sun coming in, which of course is connecting us directly to the sun energy here, the source. The happy outcome, the new beginning, working things out. Look in the wish fulfillment here, the nine of cups that's coming through in the sun energy. I'm just realizing that here, a lot of the energies that are popping up in the cards today. Of course, the nine of cups, Jupiter and Pisces energy. That's just really strongly connected. Look as the rays come in. Listening here and going where your heart is leading you. And I definitely, excuse me, feel that your person is doing that. Look at the transition. So this is interesting because it's it's a very spiritual energy and look what it's in front of. It's a letter. And look what's on here. There's a heart. It's a love letter. There's some postage stamps, it looks like. So for some of you, that is indicating that there is a long distance energy. The transition, and that's for me coming out of no contact and no communication, because it does also connect me to the Mercury and Aquarius energy of the Six of Swords. And even with this Five of Pentacles in reverse Mercury and Taurus, it's coming, it's the communication opening up. It's the end of no contact, no communication. And again, for some of you look, and it's connecting directly here with the Eight of Wands. So that's also a communication between you that's going to come out of this. And what I wanted to say is no communication, um, taking you out of no communication and no contact. And I say and or in separation because for some of you, there might be some long distance energy and you might feel like, well, if you're not coming together physically, that's not the end of separation, is it? It's really um, up to you how you feel about that. I feel once you're talking again, that's opening it up. You're, you're coming back together in some ways, you know. Solitude. So that's bringing in more of this energy of things that have been, you have been separated. It's a no contact, no communication, again, and or in separation reading. And it's strong energy, actually. It's even stronger. It's a double validation of the hermit energy that's coming through. And yeah, wanting to get some clarity and figure out where things are going. And you're ready. You're ready for it. You both are. You're both in the Four of Swords and reverse in the partnership placement here with the Four of Cups. You're just a little bit apathetic here in that with their coming in with communication. So are they waking you up in the night? Has it been a long time? Are you just not sure what you want to do? Because that energy is quite strong, but you are you are ready for something to move again here, whatever you're deciding to do. The last two coming through, wow, it's messenger and strength. So it's both in some ways your person getting the courage literally to send a message or call or communicate. We saw that coming in and it came back and yeah, <laughs> and it's connecting to that message. Look, for some of you, there's postmarks again, so there might be some long distance. Do I think somebody's getting something in the mail? Probably not for everybody, but maybe. It could be. You also see somebody writing here, you know? So it's really just a matter of, well, it's Hello. connecting. I just caught the camera. <laughs> I was just saying also divine messenger, and that's, I want to say, the listening here too. Look. Um, that's coming through with the hermit energy that's come through here and listen in solitude and what the next move is. So both for your person listening and then connecting via message, but getting the strength for that. But this is also working out everything that's been going on and heading for this new cycle. So it's leaving all of that in the past, having a conversation here. There's definitely a lot of healing necessary there's a lot of ap apologies, I feel, here, and truths coming out and things that really need to get worked out. This is what I feel like you're both wanting. I feel everybody is still here, but you might kind of have one foot out the door. It's bringing in some Seven of Pentacles energy, Venus and Taurus energy, your energy, Taurus, of just being sick of waiting or not knowing. So there is some resolution, I feel, coming. 
And it feels suspiciously to me like a reconciliation, whatever that's going to be in this Two of Cups, you know, and a revealing for sure. This is connecting, of course, with Leo energy and the source. And there's a really strong, also, I want to tell you, chemistry between you. So when it's working, it's really working. And when it's not, it can sometimes be quite overwhelming. There's a five here. Connecting to the fifth chakra, also change. There is a 29, that's 11. It's new beginnings. It's a master number. It's coming out of the duality, balancing the energies, coming with the truth, a new start completely. And a 48, of course, that's a 12 and that's a three, divine timing. So have there been timing issues? Again, somebody's ready, somebody's not. Somebody's physically here, somebody's there. Somebody's not available, somebody is. You know, there's, there's communication coming here, I think, to decide all that. And look at the end. There's a 74, which is another 11. New beginnings, master number. Taurus, I want to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. Then we will close your reading. That's a lot. <laughs> you got a lot here, and these are connected, so I want to look at these first. I miss you. Yeah, I want to put this with your Two of Cups energy. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Yeah, interesting. So that's definitely, I want to put this here. It's definitely an apology to look the Three of Swords wanting to connect directly here with the Two of Cups. So what went on here? I'm sorry that I, I'm sorry I wasn't there for you is also going there. We were meant to meet. Springing in the wheel of fortune, destiny, fate and destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. I'm trying to send you a message. Incredibly clear. So clear that it's ridiculous. <laughs> this is just really clear. Eight of Wands, Page of Swords has been saying that from the very, the very get-go here. You're my other half. Soulmate energy. Again, for some of you, this might be your twin flame, but that's not going to be for everybody. And I just heard a kind of a, a, a weird message or just looking here at the Ace of Pentacles. It almost looks like some keys, too, with these crystals, doesn't it? Of course, also three here, timing of when they're coming here with this offer connecting with the Two of Cups. There's keys here, so I'm wondering for some of you if that is connecting with a dwelling it won't be for everybody. You inspire a love in me I never knew. Page of Wands just going, boom, coming. You mean a lot to me? There is so much left unsaid. Yes. This is going with the Eight of Wands. And the Four of Swords in reverse, as you've been waiting for that. I have so many regrets. It's bringing in lovers in reverse. Also the Five of Cups, Mars and Scorpio energy. The lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. Choices that they've made also, yeah. Again, whatever went on in this devil energy. We were destined to meet. We were meant to meet. We were destined to meet. So this is also a response, I feel like. The telepathic energy between you and the communication because it's really strong between you here and the Two of Cups. You may be receiving messages already, too, because I feel like they've been in their head writing them and they've been actually writing or typing or something, you know, and I, and either sending stuff and unsending it or just, again, in their head thinking of what to say or trying to type things out, whatever it is, however they're communicating. So, therefore, with your connection, those are going to come through, whether or not they realize they're sending it. In particular, it could be around some music, too. Repeating numbers, animals, really strong in the decks that I've chosen for you today. I reread our messages. That's the Page of Swords energy, too. So that's the Page of Swords who, yeah, is really in this energy of watching and waiting to come here. I miss you, too. So the, the telepathy is strong. I miss you. I miss you, too. Excuse me, I think it's not being clear, but it doesn't matter. It's saying I miss you and I miss you too. They're all kind of piling up here around the Two of Cups. 
something is wanting to show up here. There's two things coming in. Creativity and success. Interesting. Finding a way to solve problems and work this out. I really like that. And also the changes coming in. Look, with the moon. Here with the house again. It could be for some of you there's a dwelling around it, you know. But it's that emotional energy. And this is kind of representing the conscious and the subconscious for me. So that's a, there's definitely more than an emotional reveal here. But that is here. And again, just the change that's going on. I'm putting this abundance here now. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self, Taurus. Wow. Okay. Do you miss me too? I miss you. So how is this working out? Because it's strong. <laughs> I miss you. Do you miss? This is what it is. I miss you. Do you miss me too? I miss you too. Okay. So that's definitely telepathic messages here and a question and a response. Beautiful Taurus, it's been my honor to channel for you today. As always, I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you. If you did, of course, liking today's video and subscribing to the Tarot Closet would be so very appreciated. Thank you for joining me today. I'm sending you so much love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you. And I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, bye Taurus.